yes hello everyone and finally welcome back to the channel now i do apologize that there hasn't been too many videos over the past couple of months uh, since the covid restrictions eased um, my life has been pretty manic uh, getting back to work and such so it's not left me much time to be able to get my camera out and record some fantastic coding videos but i am back and there will be uh, weekly videos uploaded onto the channel and um, for the foreseeable future okay so before i do crack on with today's video i just want to quickly remind everyone that channel memberships are live on my channel right now so um just for the price of 99p if you can afford it um, you can sign up to my channel and support what i do anyone that does sign up does receive a free goodie back just for signing up and then uh, any members will be entered into a monthly prize giveaway and there's some fantastic little goodies to be won so yeah if you don't want to sign up um, just for the price of 99p um, all your support would be massively appreciated okay so enough waffling let's get on with today's video okay so today's video is going to be the start of like a little mini series i was basically gifted a load of coins and notes um, from a friend um, that I know from uh, my boys school and he basically gifted all, all of these to me to have a good hunt through and I did say that I would record some videos of me going through um, all these bits and bobs so there's going to be like three stages so um, the last uh, the last lot of videos will be this and there is an absolute bucket load of coins in here I'm not going to tip them all out right away um, but once we've gone through the other lot, this is what's going to be happening. Um, there's all sorts of world coins in here, there's uh, UK coins, and there are some territory coins in there as well. But there's literally a whole tin full of coins, and this will be um, the latter parts of this series. So we're not going to be looking at that today. Um, oops, you just got a sneaky peek. So these are like old shillings and pennies. We are going to be looking at these, but not in today's video. And there was also loads of um, old UK coins. I think these are like 10p's and such. And again, these will be looked at in another video. And lastly, what we did have was some really old 50p coins. Now, I'm not going to give any spoilers away just yet. But again, we will be looking at these in another part of this series. So all of them are in that coin pot for now, and I'm going to put that to the side. The reason I'm doing that last is because there's so many coins in there. I think it's going to take four or five episodes just to do it justice. Okay, so um, in today's video, um, we're going to be looking at the notes. Now, included with this lot um, with some fantastic banknotes and this is what we're going to be looking at today so there's a good little pile here and yeah let's have a look and i think we'll start off with the ones that are on top because uh, they are really quite special and i can't wait to show you okay so before i get on with these banknotes i just want to say that i'm not an expert on notes so if i get any of these wrong or if you can offer me any um messages or comments um, with information that would be absolutely fantastic but I will do my best to get through this lot as much as I can and give you as much um, information that I can so starting off is this now it's a gorgeous Irish banknote I believe and it's five pounds so the Central Bank of Ireland and here we go we've got some children in the classroom and it's Central Bank of Ireland 1993 and on the front there we've got some sort of nun it is Catherine McCauley 1778 to 1841 it's a really nice note I've never seen these before I did have a little look on eBay and Facebook to see if these were doing the rounds and uh, yeah I did see a couple but I didn't manage to find too much information on them but I do love that that is such a lovely note I'm not a big fan of nuns but it is a lovely note so let's put you up there okay to go with that we did have another irish bank note and this one is a 20 is it pound or punt but it is a 20 and it is an absolutely lovely note and we've got daniel o'connell on the front and that's 1775 to 1847 i'm just seeing if there's a, a date on this 
Uh, could this be it? 11th of the 795? I'm not quite sure what that is. We've got a harp. We've got some, uh, some cliffs in the background. And I can't understand any of this writing, unfortunately, which is a shame. Oh, yeah, we've got 1992. And then we've just got some information on the back there. Again, I'm not sure what this building is, does it say? Uh, da -da -da. Okay, it possibly does, but I'm just reading it too fast. But it is a lovely, lovely note. And I've never, never had any Irish notes in my collection. I've got a lot, but not Irish. So yeah, I was well chuffed with that, but any information on these would be absolutely fantastic. Now the next lot of banknotes is quite interesting. So we've got all these, and if you notice, they're all the same. All the same note, but some of these serial numbers um, are ascending. So let's see, I think these are all the odd ones. So we've got 966074. We will have a look at these notes in a minute, but I'll just show you the serial numbers because this is what really caught my eye. 966068, yeah, I think these are all the odd ones. It's six here. Yeah. Right, so what's really interesting to say how old these notes must be. Could it be 1997 these were printed? I'm not quite sure. But here we have like a, a little run. So we've got 965992. Uh, sorry, 965991. Then we've got 992, 993. 994 and then have we got 995 yep 995 and 996 and this is the odd one I'll just put you to the side there but there we have like a, a serial date run of six of these French banknotes and that's really cool so I'm just gonna put them there because they are all the same and let's get one to have a look at so let's start with this one so this is 991 and I do, I do believe it is French and there is some writing there. I cannot understand a single word it says. And I have no idea who this guy is, but they, they are really nice notes. As you can see, we've just got a bit of a hologram just there. And it says Claude de Buzzy. Again, I will do a bit of research into these, but again, if you know any uh, information that you can put in the comments, please uh, feel free to do so. That would be absolutely fantastic. But they are lovely notes. And like I say, to have like a serial a serial date one of these is, is really cool. So let's put you down there. There we have some lovely French banknotes. Okay, so next up is this one. Now this is Espana. Is it 2000 Lever? Could be wrong. I never get these right. Or 2000 Pesetas. And again, this is another lovely banknote. You've got some guy there with a magnifying glass. Oh, here's is this a Madrid. 1992 that could be the date the uh, banknote was printed i'm not quite sure but it's a another lovely note i'm trying to have a look to see what's in the background i can't quite make it out i mean there's some building there again i, I can't read spanish so I'm, this is useless but again if you know anything about this note please let me know in the comments below so another lovely note Okay, so next up we've got another lovely um, French, I believe. Yes, definitely French, based on the background. So, 200 do cents francs. Uh, we've got, oh, uh, Gustave Eiffel. And of course, it is the Eiffel Tower on the background. And that is absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely, lovely banknote. Of course, we've got the Eiffel Tower going over all the top of these people. And of course, it is definitely a French banknote. Let's, yeah, it's two, is it 200 cents or is it 200 francs? I'm not quite sure. And I'm guessing this guy on the front is uh, Gustave Eiffel. And it's such a cool note to have a banknote with the Eiffel Tower in it. It's really cool. And it's, it's stunning. It's such a nice note. Okay, and the next one, we've got this big one. Now, this is 10,000 pesetas. And I think this could be this is the date that this was printed. I've got uh, is it Banco de España? I'm not again. I'm not quite sure who this guy on the on the front is, or uh, the young chap on the back. Again, I can't read Spanish, so I'm just absolutely useless. But I do love the colour of this note. 
and some of the pictures and illustrations are fantastic as well again we've got the hologram but we can't quite see into it and it's a, it's a lovely no it's massive it really is big uh, when I put it down there you can see just how big this note is now this one is one of my favorites in the lot um, it's a little bit damaged um, and it's burnt as well which is really unfortunate because it is an absolutely gorgeous banknote um, of course we've got some sunflowers crest in the middle of this banknote and the colors are just so vibrant and again another lovely big sunflower being pollinate pollinated by a bee or a wasp it's one of the two and of course is it netherlands or amsterdam yeah netherlands bank amsterdam uh, 4th of january 1982 again could that be the date this was uh, printed i'm not quite sure but um you know if we take out the factor that it's unfortunately got a couple of burns and a little rip just there it is an absolutely gorgeous bang note absolutely superb and I will try and uh, restore and clean this as well I say clean I'll, I'll try and restore it as much as I can and get it protected in one of my uh, little banknote uh, flip things to keep it safe so again we'll whack you oops nearly knocked the camera over we'll knock you right in the middle and again another Okay, so I did just drop my camera. <laughs> so uh, moving on to the next banknote is this one. Again, it's burnt. It's really unfortunate because it's a lovely banknote. But again, I have no idea where this is from. That's uh, obviously some sort of dam in the background on the reverse. And on the front, there's no portrait. I've never seen too many banknotes where there's no portrait. Instead, this one's just filled with buildings and it's 10 something. Oh, what's here? Bank. Again, I have no idea where this note um, has come from. I wish I was a bit more clued up on these. It's a shame about the damage, but it is another lovely bank note. And that's another fantastic one to add to the collection, and we'll put you down there. So yeah, this is the start of it. So they're the bank notes that I got. You will agree that there were some fantastic additions, including you know the, the Irish notes. You know they're just smashing. And I can't wait to get them into my collection. And I do really appreciate, you know, like, like I said, I, I was gifted all of these. You know, the chap said, you know, would, would you like all of them? Of course, and of course I said, yeah. And it's been fantastic to have a really good look at them. And I, I will do some more research, but again, if you can comment in the box below, let me know anything you know about these banknotes. It would be fantastic and it would save me a lot of time and labour. But again, if you did enjoy this video, um, please throw me a like. And of course, leave lots of comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. All, all your support really does mean a lot. And of course, if you press that notification bell, you will always be notified when I upload new videos just like this. So coming up next, uh, uh, coming up next will be the coins and uh, whatever bits and bobs are left in that jar. But I'm going to spread it out over four or five videos um, to make a good little series with it all. But the next video will. Um, We'll finish off all the uh, UK coins that I've got in there, like the 50p's, the shillings, the uh, and stuff like that. Loads of old decimal, uh, pre-decimal coins to have a look through, and I can't wait to see what dates we have got. And then we'll finish off the series with the uh, tin of world coins, and we'll see what we've got in there. But there is some really good stuff. I have had a sneaky peek in some of it, and there is some really tasty stuff. So, you know, if you do want to watch these videos. Uh, and help me along the way with some coins that I probably won't even have a clue about. But world coins, I'm not so bad. I'm a lot better than banknotes. So there we have it for another video. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. It's really good to be back. Um, back to all the waffling anyway. But it is good to be back. And I just love making these videos for all you guys to watch at home. As for now, um, all that's left me to say is thank you so much for watching. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin or note if you take the time to look. Bye for now.